Hello everyone, it's Bebop307 here and welcome back to Nietzsche and the Birds of Paradise. Now I am here with the, well like I said, the Birds of Paradise and I am very excited, very excited about this episode because uh, it's been a little bit since we've seen these guys. It probably actually hasn't been that long, um, but I'm just excited to pop back into it. I've already, I've always really liked the really extreme challenges. Although, admittedly, I'm not sure how challenging this is right now. The most challenging bit, of course, is keeping up enough food for our tribe as we grow larger. But overall, especially since we found out that indeed, for sure, fish and clams do spawn on this island, if we get some mermaid creatures, I mean, there's not really too much for us to worry about, you know what I mean? Except leeches. And those aren't too difficult to deal with, you know? They just aren't. So, I don't know. It just doesn't feel too difficult. But anyway, in the last episode, our wonderful Enset, the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Enset. Um, how you doing, buddy? He uh, helped gather all the food we needed. I think it rained recently, so he helped gather a lot of food for us. We got everybody kind of on these smelly trees right now. And he's the only one with turns. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move him around and see if perhaps he can dig up what? What? Okay. Enset! Okay, Enset just has this natural ability to just gather everything. Like, I, I think he gathered more worms in the last episode. What the heck? He's probably helping us with the mutation menu right now. Let's actually go and look. Are you helping us get the beak? Where's the beak? Bird beak. No, not bird beak. Platypus beak. He is! He is! Oh my, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at, I'm sorry. I'm just so proud of him. I didn't expect to get more food because of Enset. He's just a gosh darn, he's an angel. He's an angel, everybody. But uh, we do have a lot of dark patches and we actually have a couple of pairings set up. One of them being for our fearless and very uh, cautious, just very cautious leader, Willow. The, um, let's see, she's very bossy. I feel like, I feel like she's kind of bossy, but our leader, Willow, actually has a match set for her in the form of Duckrow, our wonderful little neon green Nietzscheling, who joined our tribe shortly before another Nietzscheling passed away, and that was, um, give me a second, Honeysuckle? I think Honeysuckle was her name. If I remember that, I feel like I deserve an award, because I've not been very good with m remembering things. I remembered! <gasps> yes! Okay. What is it with the fact that I seem to remember Honeysuckle's name, but I could I forgot Yuccas in the Rabbit Tribe. I don't understand, but I remember Honeysuckle. So anyway, Duck Row looks like he might actually have been related to her. He looks very, very similar to her, and I actually really love his pale blonde mascara. Um, not mascara, sorry, eyeshadow. Why do I keep saying mascara? But his pale blonde eyeshadow looks quite stunning and dashing and so on. But I think he and Willow are probably going to have a kiddo in this episode. Because Willow will be passing away soon. And I would very much like to have an heir for her. And I will say one good thing about this is you don't necessarily have to keep a, an eye over your babies. And that's weird to say. I mean, of course you want to stay... You want to stay near them. Okay, you want to stay near them because they're still <laughs> jungle, like, they're still apes and everything. And I'm very terrified of when they're going to start spawning. I guess they do spawn regardless of whether or not I shake the trees. Maybe it just takes more time. But I know they're going, there's roots. There's roots and set. Are you going to try to get those roots? Speaking of roots, look at all these. Look at all of these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to pass the turn. But, uh, so there's Willow, and then Cypress and Rocket. Rocket, our wonderful lion over here, who's currently exploring this area and kind of clearing the grass and making his way over to where Cypress actually is. They are another possible pairing. Um, I think she actually carried the rarest immunity gene, uh, Jay, on from her mother, so hopefully they'll be able to have more kiddos with that immunity. I'd definitely like to keep it in the tribe. Then we have B and D an I and C with these guys so they can breed. I'm just very excited to see what's going to happen and everyone's kind of doing their part. Um, and poor, poor Redbrush is trying to do his part. He really is, you know, to help gather up all this stuff. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea for us to do mermaids, but anyway, 
I have rambled on enough about the previous episode, and I am very excited to start. We're actually going to start... You know what? On second thought, we're going to start zoomed out, and we're going to start with this. I think just listening. Because I'm very nervous. Ugh, I'm so, so nervous. It looks like we're okay. Okay. I think she has a claw, so she can't gather that up. Okay, it looks like we're okay for now. So, first off, are you still- he's still able to breathe underwater, so we'll get to him in just a second. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and I- there is a leech right here, so we're actually going to- Parsnip is going to try and do this. Did she just get leeched? No. Someone else did just get le leeched, though. Did you? No, it doesn't look like it, but let's go ahead and smack this guy. Um... Chase it away, maybe? A lot of people just got leeched, and I don't know who. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Did Enza just get leeched by like five leeches? Because he's the only other one who could have gotten leeched. <laughs> what the heck, Enza? <laughs> okay. So he's actually going to... You know, we're going to have him come up this way. So that... Is it safe for him to go over there? It's safe for him to go over there. Um, He's going to try... What the heck? Enset is the ultimate gatherer. He is the absolute ultimate gatherer. And we're going to send Rocket back this way now that he's come back to help his brother. But can you believe that? He doesn't have a digger paw. Okay, he doesn't have the platypus beak. But he dug up both those spots and he just got us roots. I do not understand why Enset is so good at just getting food. Like, why? I mean, he doesn't even have nimble fingers and yet he seems so talented. It's just, it's mind boggling to me. But alright, so we went, we got those leeches out of the way. Oh, now she's leeched. Huh, <sighs> that is one thing. As mermaids, again, we're gonna have to be wary of the leeches. Wary of the leeches. It looks like there's a trunk. Wow, okay. So Leek and Parsnip, our wonderful little, um, I think Aunt and niece duo over here, are clearing out this area and trying to explore this side, get us a lot of fruit, and I think Leek's personal goal might be to lead us up over to this smelly fruit tree over here. Because if we can, like, have control, like, if we are the dominant species, like, if we have, if every smelly fruit tree belongs to us, we can thrive. And so far, we're actually not doing too bad food-wise. However, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to send... Um, as much as I want Duckrow to try that, I'm going to send him up here so that they can breed. It actually... Okay, it didn't work. It didn't work! <gasps> they need to breed because Willow only has a little bit longer to live. And she will be able to give birth in the next turn. And before we do anything else, I wasn't entirely sure what to give her. Um, I'm just going to have her go ahead and collect. Um, oh, 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 you grew up! Oh, gosh, you scared me! Okay, so Redbrush is back here. Redbrush? Redbrush? I, I'm just going to say it that way. He's back here by another healing fruit. I think for now... See, someone did mention that right now, everyone in our tribe is really stinky. And I know that's the case, we just don't have a lot of nichelings to keep us from being stinky. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have him clear this out. We just don't, and there's no way for us to really avoid it right now because we need to have the food. Like, it's an absolute, complete, and total necessity. But I definitely want to start... One thing I want to start working on... Let's see, let's look at you, Cypress. The purse now. I want the purse now, and I'm trying to find where... Poison... Crack... Ja, ch -ch -ch gills purse now okay we are not really working hard on the purse now we're not um fig i think there's a root over here so fig's gonna go up here i'm gonna have him dig up this root 
and I think we are going to start trying to work a little on the purse now because that could pro that would I feel like that would really help us here um, and I might go ahead and have someone like have a baby over here although I gotta admit I'm a little nervous about that tree trunk right there because you just don't know which one's going to spawn the apes but we do have a baby waiting for us and I'm really excited so Willow I mean, she probably could have hopped out and had a baby if she wanted to, but she's just so nervous that that there isn't enough food. So I think that she's she's really indecisive. Um, and since we're thinking of doing mermaid creatures, I thought it would actually see... I mean, there's not much that we can really do to encourage a mermaid creature. Um, however... I just don't know. I mean, maybe we could encourage something like more sandy coloring. I mean, we're already encouraging black fur with her because her original goal is to just blend in with everything. So I might actually put in dots as well. I'm going to put in dots. I already, I already chose it. Um, and her focus, of course, is food. So I think that's why he also has... Uh, Nimble paw? Uh, nimble, I keep saying nimble paws. Nimble fingers? I don't like his tail though, so what we are going to do, we're going to try to encourage Stinky Tail with him. We're going to try to encourage Stinky Tail, and I think the same is going to go for Cypress and Rocket. We're going to encourage Stinky Tail. I, I don't think that went. Actually, let's look at them. Yeah, we're going to encourage Stinky Tail because I really, I mean, you're right, our tribe, I, I forgot who said it or who pointed it out, but our tribe is indeed very stinky because we really just don't have any other reliable food source besides the smelly fruit trees. So we're just going to go ahead, give everyone the Stinky Tail in their uh, mutations. Hmm... I don't know. See, for their safety, I definitely think we should try to increase dots. But I'm also kind of nervous because I'm... I'm... The roots is, has been really helpful, but I also just don't know if we should try to keep the claw. But I don't think we can because we haven't attacked anything. Which is why I think it'd be helpful to do, like, fishing and stuff, you know? Where's the claw? Where's the claw? Oh, I just found it. Okay. Yeah, we've only performed one attack, and I think that was the one time we fished, or the one time we attacked a leech. So we're actually going- I can't encourage Claw, okay. I'm gonna encourage Spots, then. I'm going to encourage Spots, and as much, again, as much as I would really like. Mmm. I just- they're just so pretty, it makes it really hard for me to change. Like, I'm, I'm curious to- I don't know, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put spots for him as well, because I think just safety-wise, if we could have a little bit more camouflage, it would be better. So, and that's why, like, Willow's and her mate's genetics are set up the way they are, because just on the off chance that it can make them safer. Well, let's go ahead, let's zoom out. I can't believe there's a tree trunk over there. That actually makes me really happy. Okay, still not seeing any sign of anyone. Let's go ahead and let's actually sit Leek up on this tree trunk. And let's gather up all of these roots. Look at that. Not saying more, but we can see a little better. Um. Let's see. I'm not seeing where she can really fish. Uh. We're gonna kind of have Parsnip scoot around. We're gonna keep scooting around. And we found another healing fruit. Okay. So their adventure so far has been pretty fruitful. They've gotten a lot of food for our tribe. They're doing pretty well overall. I'm still impressed with Enset. I, I can't believe Enset. I honest to goodness cannot believe how freaking talented he is with gathering everything. It's kind of unreal. You know what? I mean, that makes a lot of noise, but I'm very, very tempted to set her nest right here by, like, because it's just enclosed. I don't think, I mean, no, nothing can get to it. 
Nothing can get to it unless they go in the water, like really. And there's one spot here, but then it gets eaten up by the plant, so I don't think... Basically, the baby would be safe here. There's still the chance of it getting leached, though. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and set her up here. Have her make her nest. And gather this up. So I'm not sure what we're gonna have him do. I guess he can just try to dig. He did manage to get us some food. Let me get out of this grave view. So he did manage to get us some food, which is very nice, very impressive. Like, well done. I imagine she's very proud of you. And you can get some more smelling fruit for us. Get it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just so paranoid. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send... Let's see. We're gonna send Rocket right here. And send him around this way. And this is gonna be the first time that he sees Cypress. And he's chit-chatting with Redbrush, who's probably going to work on going around the smelly fruit tree in the next episode. And Cypress and her dad Fig are over here by these smelly fruit trees, just kind of collecting things up, keeping things nice and tidy. And I'm very tempted to have her go and smack one of those red plants, just to turn it into a green plant, but she'll get gobbled up. And so I kind of hesitate, especially since I don't know if anyone, like, if they get hurt immediately when they're bit. I mean, the thing is, though, we have so many healing fruits that it's not entirely dangerous, really. So I think that might be something I do. Is I'm going to probably have... You know what? She might end up saving Rocket in the next episode. I think she might end up saving Rocket from one of these because he's just kind of uh, bounding over there, kind of forgot how careful you're supposed to be in this jungle because he sees this really pretty Nietzscheling and he wants to talk to her. So he's going to be a bit goofy and then she's going to have to save him because she's got the claw. So I'm very curious. I hope she has enough strength to do it. Uh, she's got three strength. I think that's all you need. At least I sincerely hope because I just, I just want to turn this plant into green. That's all I want to do because that... If we can get all of these plants turned into green plants, not to mention that we'll also be working on the claw so that we can add it into our genetics, um, it would just make things a lot easier. But, okay. So, we do have a baby that we're going to get to look forward to in this episode. I don't really know what to have Cypress do for now, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of leave it as is, and we're going to pass the turn just to see her baby, because I really want to see Willow's baby. I really do. I'm... I just... I just feel like it's gonna be so cool. I don't know. I just, I really want to see your baby. Let's go ahead and say hello to the next little child um, of the Birds of Paradise tribe. That was a little weird. Gonna bring up my name list. I'm ready. I'm so excited. <gasps> He's pink! He's pink! You're pink, Nuku, and he's got beautiful green eyes. Neither of your parents have green eyes. And he actually did inherit those nimble fingers that we put in the mutation menu. I think because his dad... No, his dad doesn't have a no-paw, but he inherited those nimble fingers that Willow wanted so desperately so that collecting from those smelly fruit trees would be a lot easier and that hopefully a lot more could get done. But Nuku, oh, Let's see, he's got BNC immunity, relatively high fertility, he does not, unfortunately, have, like, stinky tail and recessives, but that's okay. He doesn't have spots in his recessive either. I guess he actually... Does he really have stripes? What? What? Okay, no, I can see the stripes. I don't know why I didn't... I just... I don't think I... Okay. No, he has stripes. Okay, for some reason I didn't really see them. They're just really small, I guess. Like, really spaced out, really tiny. But, okay, let's go ahead and let's look at the... F Pronghorn. First name I saw, so not you. <laughs> but let's go ahead... Well, not quite you. I feel like that's uh, one of those names that just kind of, like, there's a bit of ir irony there, you know? Because it's just, like, it's not... You don't have any. But... All right, you guys. So, we have been doing pretty well with this tribe, actually. I'm very, very, very surprised at how easily all of this is coming about. And I'm 
pretty sure I'm jinxing myself right now. I'm just waiting for that first ape to pop around the corner and ruin the fun. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I want to thank you all for watching, but I gotta be popping out of here, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!